Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I did my makeup for my birthday. I am mixing these two foundations to get my perfect shade and also they look great in photos. You just want to dot it all over your face and buff it into the skin using a downwards motion. Now using the lightest brown from the Sigma sample that I received, I am going to fill in my eyebrows very lightly. Using strokes, just so it looks like hairs and it looks very natural. Taking these two dark colors, I am mixing those and applying that to the end of my eyebrow. Then you want to take your spoolie brush and brush everything out and shape it just so it looks nice and neat. Moving on to eyes, like always, I like to use a base, so I'm using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I like using this base because it covers up any discoloration on my eyelids. Then taking Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze, I am applying this over the base just to prep it for the eyeshadow that's going to be on top. It will make my lid color stand out much more. Then I like to take a fluffy brush and blend out that base just so we have no harsh lines. I'm really not careful with this, I just like to use circular motions and windshield wiper motion. Then going in with the Buck from the Naked palette, it is a nice brown. I am putting this in my crease with the same fluffy brush. And I like to go from inner corner to outer corner in windshield wiper motion. Make sure Buck is nicely blended because this will be our transition shade. You don't have to be very careful with this. This will just help all the colors blend beautifully together and give some sort of definition to the eye. Taking Naked, which is a couple shades lighter than Buck, I am applying this above the crease just to help blend any excess eyeshadow. This color is very light, so it's very good for blending. And I like to use my Sigma E40 blending brush to do this step. Mixing Smog and Dark Horse, I am applying this on my outer corner of my eye and into the crease. This is going to create lots of depth and make the look so much more smokier. I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush. You really want to start out with a little bit of eyeshadow and work your way up because these colors can be a little tricky to blend. Once you apply a little bit too much eyeshadow, there's no going by it. <laughs> so all you really do is apply and blend, apply and blend until you get the intensity you want. And then taking my big Sigma E40 brush again, I am blending everything together seamlessly. Then going in with Sidecar, I forgot to swatch it, but I'm using this eyeshadow wet. So I applied some water on it and then patted it onto my eyelid. This is going to be much more intense and it's going to prevent much more fallout. There's nothing worse than having a whole bunch of eyeshadow on your cheeks. <laughs> then taking my Sigma E25 brush again, I am just blending out that side car and adding some more darker colors to the outer corner. And then blending everything once again. Taking the lightest color in the palette, which is Virgin, I am just highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners. Then going in with my eyeliner, I am going to wing out my eyeliner and make sure it's very thin. If you want to see how I do my eyeliner, I will have a link down below. Then going in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I am going to use this to clean up my eyeliner and eyeshadow. I always do this step because it just makes my I look so much more crisp and clean. I'm also going to be applying this concealer under my eyes in a triangle motion. This concealer blends out so beautifully and highlights. It's a very nice concealer. And then I am going to use a translucent powder and just set my concealer under my eyes. Going back in with Smog and Dark Horse, I'm applying that under my lash line to balance everything out. 
And then taking a white eyeliner pencil I got from Icing, I am applying that in my waterline to open it up a little. Then grabbing my mascara, I'm applying a few coats of this onto my upper lashes and my lower lashes. Speaking of eyelashes, I am using the Red Cherry Wispies and these look very natural so I prefer these for a daytime look. Or if you just want a little bit of eyelashes but nothing too extreme, these are the way to go. These will be your best friend. <laughs> Taking my Benefit Hula Bronzer, I almost hit pan on it, I am so sad, but I'm applying this to my cheekbones, my temples, and my upper forehead just to make it look like I got a little bit of tan. You also want to take this down to your neck. Taking this mauve color blush, I am just applying this onto my cheekbones and blending it back. And once you realize you have applied way too much, you can take that big powder brush and just blend everything. Taking MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil, I am just lining my lips. And then I like to pat in that lip liner just so there's no harsh lines. Apply your favorite nude lipstick and you have yourself a completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you tried this look, make sure to tag me on any social media websites. Bye guys! See you in my next video.